So NVIDIA achieved a market value of a little over $3.9 trillion, making the chip maker the most valuable company in history. Its story, of course, wrapped up in the frenzy around the future of artificial intelligence. Let's get more on this with technology analyst Carmi Levy. He joins us now to talk about this. Carmi, thanks for your time today. Great to be with you, Marilla. Thanks for having me. So new stock highs for NVIDIA in the last few weeks. What have investors picked up on? Uh, they're picking up on the fact that AI seems to be the next critical driver, major driver of growth in technology, that every single company uh, from the largest technology companies all down to the smallest of the small to midsize enterprises, they're all doubling down on artificial intelligence. And of course, that requires compute power. AI is incredibly compute intensive. Uh, so companies like Apple, like Microsoft, like Meta, like Amazon, they are all in a just almost like a race to the moon to build build out their AI infrastructure, massive AI-centric data centers, uh, clean power to keep the lights on there, and the more power you have, the better. And they've all committed to spending tens, if not hundreds of billions of dollars over the next number of years to get to that point. So this superpower arms race, the company's standing at the front of the line to provide those AI-centric processors, that, that compute power is NVIDIA, uh, and really that, that demand shows no signs of ending anytime soon. Soon. Okay, if NVIDIA is a gold standard of chips, what is the company doing that its competitors are not? Um, it's almost like Intel in the early days of the PC revolution is that they were always about 18 to 24 months ahead of everyone else. And so if you look at NVIDIA's architecture, uh, they are, they've got about a year and a half to two year lead. And, and so what that means is that if you're looking for, if you're say an Apple and you're building a data center and you're looking for the most compute power for a particular investment, uh, there really is only one choice, NVIDIA. And as long as they have the capacity to produce it, uh, everything else is a is a second tier choice. And that's really what it what it comes down to is they have ramped their technology more effectively than their competitors. Uh, they've left Intel in the absolute dust. Uh, and as a result, uh, you know, if you want to compete in AI, you have to spec NVIDIA in your AI infrastructure. Do you see any challenges ahead for this company? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's some some analysts are saying that this rocket ride is going to continue. That the the four trillion dollar valuation, or that we're bumping up on four trillion, is going to be more like five or six over the next eighteen to twenty four months. And then there are others who are saying this feels a lot like the dot com bubble, and that at some point, uh, you know, if we do hit a pullback, Nvidia is the most exposed. Uh, but we've seen this before. We've seen Nvidia, you know, for example, when DeepSeek was was released earlier this year, uh, and that jolted the stock market because assumptions over a AI uh, were essentially turned on its ear. Uh, they since made that up and then some. And so they've recovered from, from those headwinds. Certainly China is another one. Uh, you know, the export restrictions, tariff uncertainty, you know, the current negotiations in the trade war, uh, those all throw uh, spanners in the works for NVIDIA's future. And yet the company is rolling out a, a lower powered chip that bypasses trade restrictions. And so they always seem to have an answer to the challenges that get thrown their way. And investors seem to be lapping it up. Let's broaden out a little bit uh, when we look at tech, because there are some laggards on the markets uh, when we look at the April dip and who's come back. Apple's one of them. Why do you think it hasn't come back from that decline? Now, I think investors are still trying to figure out what Apple's roadmap for artificial intelligence looks like. Apple's brand for AI is known as Apple Intelligence. They announced it at their Worldwide Developers Conference in 2024, and then for the rest of the year, ultimately failed to truly deliver on what they promised. And so WWDC 2025 was a much more scaled back effort. They really spoke to point solutions like a fitness buddy uh, that used Apple Intelligence, but they didn't really advance the state of the art of that platform. And so investors are still unsure sort of where Apple fits in the AI race. Uh, are they leaders? Are they laggards? Or are they simply waiting for everyone else to make those mistakes and then swoop in and do what they usually do? So uh, unclear at this time, but uh, as, as always, uh, Apple's roadmap is a very closely guarded secret. Talk to me about Microsoft and what you see ahead for that company. 
Uh, so Microsoft, of course, you know, this was the company that was most vulnerable as the PC era ended, and they've completely restructured themselves as, selves as a cloud services and AI company. And so uh, their investment in open AI, the earliest big tech investments in the emerging platform, uh, turns out to be an utter masterstroke. They're uh, holding their own, if not leading, in 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 in, a, in uh, chatbots and AI, as well as the shift toward agentic and reasoning models, which is kind of the next big step in AI that will require even more power. Uh, they're also investing heavily in data center and power uh, infrastructure uh, and arguably leading in that regard as well. And so they're fairly quiet, don't get a lot of attention, don't draw a lot of attention to themselves, but ultimately Microsoft has figured out how to execute uh, in this AI world and essentially reinvent itself while still in flight. So is there a tech company from that top Meg 7 that you have the least confidence in at this point? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I think Intel is probably the one that has the most to lose. Uh, they were the 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 infrastructure uh, king for much of the last two, three decades, but they ultimately failed to convert that as, as demand shifted toward AI, as CPUs became GPUs and NVIDIA's core technology, uh, you know, was, was, uh, was ultimately uh, optimal for AI. Intel's technology was not, and they have failed to counter with anything, you know, that, uh, that allows them to to compete at that level. They say that they're getting back on track, but it still isn't clear if they're actually gonna be able to execute on that promise.